What's going on, world? It's me, Andre Cat, and I here from West Palm Beach, Florida. So, um, this week I want to go over some trades that I'm going to be trading um, this week, or I'm going to be paying attention to, close attention to this week, and maybe I can give you guys some ideas on what pairs you should be looking at as well. So, uh, first pair is GBP USD. Um, I feel like we're going to be going into a downtrend very, very soon. As you can see, um, we had a higher high here, but at the same time, we just created a lower low down here. So now um, we're looking for that lower high. And I feel like price where price is at right now is where that lower high is going to be at. Because um, right now it's at my 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level here. It's a price reversal level here. And it's also close to my 200 EMA here as well, below the 200 EMA. And I feel like price will start be, will start going into a downtrend, a bearish um, trend. And um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wait to London session tonight to look for a position. Um, if I go to the hour, well, let's go to the four hour first. Um, you can see here, you know, um, price is at um, at one of my uh, London London session zones here. One of my uh, uh, London session high so um, if price I feel like price is gonna break this zone okay I want price to break this zone all right I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so I want price to break this zone right pull back into the London session high zone right pull back into that and then come all the way down here to this zone here that's that's my prediction but is it gonna happen that way who knows? Got to pay attention to price. I'm not just gonna go get, just gonna go ahead and get in the trade um, because of what I think it's gonna do. No, you gotta you gotta watch price and you gotta see you gotta watch price action and you gotta see what type of movements, what type of candle patterns it's doing. If it's not doing what you um, you know, it's not creating any uh, bearish trend or bearish pa uh, candle patterns or breaking um, certain zones, then I just I just dis discard the trade. So, uh, but this is what I think could happen. Not mean it's gonna happen, but this is what I think I could happen. So I could break this zone, break this London session high zone, right? Come back up and retest this zone, right? And then start creating some bearish movements to the downside, and you can maybe get in a position right at the top of the zone here, all the way to this zone down here at the bottom here. Okay, that's what I think. Okay, now um, of course. This could continue to go down if it were to break this zone as well. But um, let me see how many pips this would be if we were to get in up here. It's not that much. It's like about 50, 60, 70 pips. Okay. So that's that's one pair that I'm looking at uh, to go to the downside. Okay. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, mark that. That's red. And then also uh, USD. I'm looking. Uh, I'm actually in a trade. I got into a short term, a short term sale. I, would, I shouldn't be in a sale because um, what I'm about to show you right now, we should be buying, okay? So if we go to the weekly, we're definitely bullish, okay? We're definitely bullish here. Um, as you can see, um, we're going to the upside. So if we go to the daily, um, we're definitely bullish. If we go to the four hour, we're definitely bullish. And um, on a one hour, what I did was I just drew my zones, um, my previous U.S. session zones, my previous London session zones here. And um, I feel like price will pull back, um, pull back into this zone here or to the zone here or into the, it could pull back into this zone right here. Where is that where I'm at right now? Or here or here or here. But um I feel like price will come back into the zone right here. And um, I would be looking to get into a position for a buy position here. All right. And then, you know, and ride it up to the next higher high. Okay. Um, now, will it happen that way? Who knows? We got to keep, we got to just keep an eye on, um, we just got to keep an eye on the price action and see what it do. Is it going to, if, if we start seeing, you know, uh, bullish movements and bullish candle patterns, then um, we're good to go for uh, buys. But, um, but yeah, so for newbies, 
I wouldn't get in a sale. I mean, if you know, if you don't know what you're doing, but I, I will let you know that I, I got in the sale. So since I feel like price will, um, you know, come down here into the zone, what I did was I, I just got in some sales. I got into a sale trade here. So I feel like price is going to come all the way down here. So I be, I can catch sale down to the zone and then I can um, catch the buy going up. You know what I'm saying? Which is the right um, trend that you want to be in. You want to be buying because of the higher time frame based on the weekly, the daily, the four hour. You want to be buying because we are in an uptrend. But I do know price is not going to go straight up. It has to pull back. It has to pull back. All right. And then not only that, I also drew my Fibonacci retracement here on this move um, from the bottom here all the way up to the top here. And I feel like price will come into that 61.8 Fib level. OK, this is that Fib level. This is a price reversal level. So it can come down here and touch that 61.8 and go to the upside. But I feel like it's going to spike down into the zone and start rejecting either the zone or the 61.8 fib level. Okay, so if you want to keep your eye out on RUSD for a buy, you know, that's what this is what this is a pair that I will pay attention to um, to continue to go to the upside. But um, I did get in a sale, a short term sale on RUSD. And I feel like it's going to come out, come down here to that zone. But another thing is, too, is that what I'm going to do is since I got in a trade up here. So what I'm going to do is once it get into this zone right here, once it's once price can tap into the zone here, if it can tap into that zone, it doesn't mean it's going to tap into that zone. But if it can, I'm going to break even around this level. So that way I can have a free uh, a, a risk free trade here. OK, just in case price want to come back up and pull and against me and hit my stop loss. OK, so right now I got my stop loss 10 pips above the zone that you're seeing right now, 10 pips above. So um, even if I lose this trade, I won't lose that much. I only, only will lose like 10 pips, but we're well below the zone and we're um, in profit. So once price get into the zone here, I'm going to break even. That way I have a free risk trade. But overall, I feel like price will come into um, this zone here and then start, you know, creating some bullish candle patterns some bullish movements to the upside so it can create that higher high okay so if you want to pay attention to that you can pay attention to that um but let's take a look at your cat i believe your cat yeah your cat let me let's take a look at that so if we go to the weekly you'll see that we are bullish okay we are bullish here okay and let me see if we can get a uh Psychological number here. So a psychological number could be at 800. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have a horizontal line right here at the um, 1.646800 level. Psychology, uh, whatever. I'm getting tongue twisted here. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm waiting for price to start creating some bullish movement um, to the upside because right now uh, we are bullish because price broke above this lower high over here and created a higher high. So as you can see, this is the higher low, higher high. This is one uh, potential area that price could start reversing to the upside. Okay. Um, we can even draw a Fibonacci retracement here and see like where we can um where price could struggle when it comes to uh reversing. So um right now price is at the fifty percent right here, fifty percent. And um we have a psychological uh level here, all right, and um, we're bullish. All right. We, we, uh, the weekly is telling me that we should be buying. Um, let's see if the daily tells us that we should be buying. Um, yeah, uh, I feel like we're bullish, still bullish here. And then, um, on the four hour, we are bearish. Okay. So as long as two, two, uh, 
two time frames is telling us that we're bullish. We're good to go. Um, of course, you're going to see some bearish movements um, to the area of interest that we want to trade at. So it has to has to create some bearish movement. So price create that bearish movement down to my area of interest where I'm looking to buy on a daily and I'm looking where I'm looking to buy on the weekly. OK, um, so I will be looking for buys on your cat. All right. If if it can shows me if it can show me um, some bullish movement. OK, um, so what I would do is on, on your cat, I would just go ahead and uh, mark up my zones. This is where I usually mark up my zones at on the hour chart. I mark up my previous U.S. sessions, highs and lows. Uh, my previous London session highs and lows and previous Asian session highs and lows. Okay, so right now Let me uh, move this up here. Can I move this up? No, let me just take it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just draw my previous US session high. Okay, I'm going to draw that up here and I'm gonna Go ahead I know it says New York session high is really the U.S. session high, okay. And not only that, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of a, a, a London session high as well on top of that. And then um, also I would draw my U.S. session zone here as well, okay. So I'm looking for buys. I'm looking for buys on your cash. So what I would like to see, right? What I would like to see is I would like to see price. Let me see. Let me come back over here. Um, I would like to see price come back down here. Like uh come back down here and then go back up. But we are at a psychological level right here where this uh red horizontal line is. So it could reject there. Or what price could do is price can break this zone here, right? Like price could break this zone here and then come back, pull back into the zone and then go back up to the upside, right? So it could do that, all right? So uh, either way, um, you know, we, we want to be looking for buys on your cat, okay? We want to be looking for buys on your cat because... Like I said, on the weekly, is telling us that we are in a uptrend. We're definitely in an uptrend. All right, this is just my first area of interest right here. Okay, um, but yeah, so pay attention to that. Uh, I, I didn't get any trade on that one yet, but I'm just looking for some um, bullish movements. Um, right now, I might get in around this level here, or I might just wait until price come back either here. Uh, either for price to come back down here and reject this level here or wait for price to come break this uh u.s session high and then come back down and then go back up to the upside on your cap okay um but um yeah i mean let me see if any other pairs that i could be looking i could show you guys on potential trades um you USD JPY is on a downtrend look like and the weekly is telling us that we're in a downtrend the daily is telling us that we're in a downtrend and the 4 hour is telling that telling us that we are in a downtrend so um what possible could happen is that price could on USD JPY price could doesn't mean it's going to happen I'm just saying it could All right Price could come back up here into this zone here, which is my uh, first area of interest, and then come back down and create another low and start going and create, creating some bearish movements to the downside. Or, or price could break this zone, pull back into the zone, start creating some bullish movements, short-term bullish movements, right? break this zone or come back into this zone here and then start going down all right that could happen that uh, that also could happen all right so uh i will be paying attention to usd uh, usd jpy 
for a potential trade to the downside unless it started creating some bullish movements and it started breaking um, certain zones to the upside, then I might change my mind and start um, looking for a uh, looking for buys, but right now I'm it's you know I'm looking for sales on USD JPY. Um, hmm, what else do we have? So GBP uh, JPY is in the downtrend. Okay, I'll show you guys one more pair. Um, GBPI. Okay, so right now we are in. Let me see. Let me look at the higher time frame. We are in a downtrend. I would say that right now. We are in a downtrend right now at the moment. Um, well, if price can break below this level here, we're definitely going to be start going into a downtrend. And then um, what will happen is if I if that does happen, what I will be looking for, for price to do is I'm look, I will look for price to, you know, come back up into this zone anywhere in this area here and then start coming back to the downside very simple so um i'll keep you guys updated on all these pairs that i'm looking at but i hope i gave you some ideas on what to trade um this week but there's some other pairs i'm going to be looking at as well that i didn't go over and um if i have to i'll make some more uh additional videos on other pairs that i'm looking at but those these are the the, the pairs that i'm looking at at the moment right now so if you did, if you got some value, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Now, if you guys want to copy my exact trades automatically over to your account, you don't want to look at the charts, you don't want to look at the, you know, um, you know, you don't know how to trade, or you don't want to look at charts all day, you don't want to do this stuff, and you, but you still want to, um, you know, make money in the forex market. You can just link your account to my account, and then every time I place a trade on my account, those same trades will be copied over to your account, hands free. All right, so if you're interested in that, just reach out to me personally and I'll get you set up. I'll link your account to my account so you can get my trades. But other than that, if, you get, if you're get if you getting value, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. And um, I will see you guys on another video. Take care, y'all.